You got to be kidding. We're no, on. Yeah, hey, yeah, we are. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again. I'm Larry. I'm Laban. And we're cooking cheap. Cooking cheap. cheap. Yeah, we are. Yeah, last week we did um, chicken. Yeah. And one of our good viewers wrote in and says, I just love chicken. And as a matter of fact, here's a picture of her loving her chicken. <laughs> Out of town. <laughs> Did she give birth to that thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> Large chicken. All right, let's get the witch in here and see what we're going to be doing today. Was Doris here? coming in already? Oh, oh, the oh, oh okay, oh. the witch. Now, how can you talk about <laughs> such a sweet, gentle lady as that? Boom. There it goes. All right. Well, let's see what what maybe you can read it today. I think I read maybe. it last week. Dear boys, my wife wears so much makeup that she looks like Tammy Faye. Oh. That Tammy Faye woman that used to be on TV. My wife just throws that pancake stuff on for a who laid the rail. It reminds me, y'all got anything new in cakes? <laughs> We'd have a happier marriage if she would spend less time on her face and more time with the oven. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Fred Coots of Hot Ring, Oklahoma, uh, Arkansas. I'm sorry, Hot Ring, Arkansas. I can never figure these uh -huh. things. AK, I guess, yeah. is Arkansas, isn't it? I don't know, but anyway. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's so good that you wrote. It's just amazing. It is. We are going to do cakes today. Yep. In fact, I'm going to do uh, punch bowl cake. <laughs> We're hearing body noises, ladies and gentlemen, from our... I think I'm being made fun of. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> Punch Bowl Cake sent in by Evelyn Grubbs of Muncie, Indiana. Punch when Bowl Cake. When have we been seen in Indiana I recently? I don't know. But the, well, Indiana wants over. me, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to do an applesauce cake that Evelyn Kestner Chenault of Appomattox, Virginia. You know, Appomattox down there where Lee and Grant. Very historic. Yeah, very, very historical, historical place. place. Uh -huh. However, uh, you might remember several years ago, I said that one of the recipes that I had lost in my family was the recipe my mama used for applesauce cake because it was so good and I just had never been able to duplicate it. Mm -hmm. And Evelyn sent this recipe in and she said from the way I described it, she said, I believe it's this recipe. And indeed it is. The only thing is that I now cannot eat hardly anything in it. So what good does it do to have the recipe? But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to tell you, uh, Doris and I have been experimenting in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you how to do the cake the correct way or the way that Mama made it. And then we've got one that we made with, with egg you know, uh, substitutes. Uh, sugar substitutes, uh, margarine instead of butter. So we've got a cake that is basically very heart healthy. I also understand that while you all were experimenting around, you came up with cures for several major diseases. We did. So that'll be um, announced on the program one later of which, on. One uh, of which I think you're afflicted with. <laughs> I have no diseases. <laughs> Never have. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Doris will be here. But what would you know about my diseases anyway? Well, I've been in the emergency room all morning <laughs> and they told me. <laughs> they said you wouldn't have believed it <laughs> if you could have seen it. Okay, anyway. we won't be talking right. anymore about that, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Miss uh, Thing will be coming in here in a little while. Doris, yes, with the fastest cake in the West. Yeah, and she uh, said it actually was. Sent in by Marlene Mayer of Fredericksburg, Virginia. That's another fine mm -hmm. uh, historical town, yes. historical place. So anyway, right. well, now your, if it. yours takes a little while, I can get my first part of this out of the way real okay, quick. Okay, well, go ahead. So now. let me do this. The first thing you have to do with mine is you get yourself a punch bowl. Now, you know, I think this punch bowl is way too big. Well, it is. <laughs> well, it's the only punch bowl I had. How well, many punch bowls do you normally have sitting around the house? Well, I don't know. But This that... would be much better if it were done on a trifle dish, but these people very... Uh, are very reasonable and they know mm -hmm. that most people, I'm the only person that you personally know that has a trifle dish. Yes, you are. And I travel with a lot. Matter of fact, you're the only one I know that has a punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you can make it a trifle dish, but more people have punch bowls and trifle dishes if you have one at all. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to bake just a plain old cake Mm -hmm. and you bake it according to the plain old cake directions on the box and you just go to your store and I got the cheapest thing I could get which was an old box of a house brand of yellow cake mix and you bake that and I have it in the oven right now and well, I'm going to take it oh that is so hot Psh, oh that's incredible oh, it really is give so me two a break. what I did was uh, just uh, 
doesn't matter whether you make it round or square, because, ladies and gentlemen, you got to tear it all to pieces <gasps> in a couple oh, of Oh, no, a perfect That's good right. cake. Torn so all now, to pieces. there we go, and we'll do more with this later. All right, well, with mine, I have uh, heated up two cups of unsweetened applesauce right out of a jar, unsweetened. Now, check your applesauce, make sure there has no sugar added. Is it unsweetened? Yep, and then you warm it up, and you add teaspoon of soda, now baking don't sound soda to it. Certain. Now when you add that soda to it, it'll puff up, like if you notice. It's just puffed up tremendously. Keep that in the back of your heads. Now over here in Doris's fine mixer, I'm going to add two sticks, that's a half a pound of butter. For don't those you, of you add that, don't add that soda to any uh, vinegar. Because you know what'll happen. Yeah, it'll it'll explode. Bubble. We it'll learned that it'll down, explode. At, down at Belmont Elementary School. All right, now mm -hmm. I'm going to put Just another thing right of the butter jar. over in here, and we're going to turn this thing on and let it whip the butter around while I get the sugar. And it's got a powerful lot of sugar. It's Somebody got, criticized us the other day. We're having too much fancy equipment on the set now. They said, we remember when you all had to do everything by hand, and, and here was Laban with this kitchen aid thing going to town. And yes, but that was 20 years ago when we was. were a lot younger. That's right. And speak for yourself, I'm still a lot younger. Well, you always will be, because you just got here too late. <laughs> Did I get that right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder okay. if you're supposed to dream this stuff. It doesn't say. I'm opening up some pie filling and some crushed pineapple. This is another one of those where the, it calls for a can. Don't you just love those recipes? Oh, dry We don't know nuts. whether it's a big can or a little can or a can this big, but it doesn't say whether you're supposed to drain it or not. What's your feelings about it, Doris? Doris has no feelings whatsoever. Huh? Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, I would think you'd want to soak into the cake too. Well, listen, while you're waiting for that, I'll tell you what I'll do. Right. Take a, just a thing of, of pudding, of instant pudding pie filling, and I got a big box, because I think you need the big box you can get hold of on this, and just fix it in accordance with you the- You get that at Larry's big box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Like Larry, what, what is it? What Tony's you, big boy, or you, you know, what is the name of that? Well, I saw something about that. The big boy people are getting a new big boy. Well, what's wrong? Wasn't the big boy big enough? No, he was big enough, but he was out of date. He it's, was passe. Well, he's so, got that sort of flip hairdo. Yeah, uh, and so it, that he's getting a new hairdo and new clothes. It says, putting directions, pour three cups of milk in a large bowl and add to the mix and refrigerate for a couple of minutes. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix it up with a whisk. That's it, Laban. It's all yours. All right, I'm going to add two eggs. And I'm being kind of careful because Doris said some of these she got an egg that wasn't very good. How I'm do you get an egg that's no good in this day and age? They're not even one hour old when they reach the supermarket. Do you it remember? Like it was, yeah, I do didn't. you remember a couple of years ago the egg people were explaining to you and I that it's very difficult to find an egg in a supermarket anymore? It's virtually more than three days old because they deliver them so quickly. So how could that happen? Well, it did. You must have been shopping at one of those low-down stores, It was a, it was a, a freak Doris. of nature. All right, now put the two eggs in with the two sticks of butter and the two cups of flour, and it's looking real good. It's very light and creamy. Great shot, Andre. And you can see in there that it, it is now really looking good, and I'm going to add some flour to it. This is what pudding looks like when it's milky. <laughs> For those of you that are ignorant of kitchen ways, I have now mixed this up and I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator for five minutes so it'll set up just a little bit. And I'm gonna take one of these big old pieces of cake and I'm gonna start tearing it apart and throwing it in the bottom of this thing. This is really an English trifle is what it is, except it's, what, huh? If you're going to talk to me, Doris, don't mumble. Say something. Anyway, this is just really an English trifle is all it is. But we're calling it something different today. Go ahead, well, John. Well, I'm adding three and three quarters cups of flour now slowly to our, our batter. And it's going to be a real stiff. 
I know, fast. but I wanted it to set up faster. I know the freezer from the refrigerator. Oh, listen to it. Doris. They're having an argument. Doris says, oh, Larry, you have accidentally opened up the freezer. Like, I don't know. I just thought I could maybe make this go faster. Oh, shut the door. We don't want anybody seeing see in well, there. Well, there's nothing now, in there, ladies and gentlemen. I what know, are we trying to keep cool? Well, I thought we would have some bananas or something. There's in nothing there. in there. There's nothing in there. There is this fine note from Paul Lancaster. <laughs> no, that's something else. Okay, now I've got in the flour and the machine is beginning to labor a little bit. So I'm gonna put in... Good heavens, I thought that thing was supposed to be able to handle anything, Is this Johnson? a great juice star? Now you can put in three quarters of a cup. I know, but I'm gonna put it in now. Three well, quarters of a cup. Now. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I think we're gonna get slapped if, before if this day is over. Get this fine dish open. I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of grape juice. You could also use oh no! You could use red wine. Now oh, let me it's some kind of wine. Doris, me, you've been hitting the bottle again. Go ahead. Let me show you all how to tear up a cake. Now get a startling <laughs> overhead shot of this, ladies and for those of you who don't know how to do this, for those of you who have never cooked in the kitchen very often, see, that's how you tear a piece of cake apart. There's another one. Now just be real gentle with it. <laughs> Even Doris can do this. That one's kind of big. I think that's enough. Go ahead, John. All right, I'm putting in now a one pound box or one of these big box of raisins into the applesauce cake batter. And you just let them all in there, and let them beat around a little bit. I'm going to add some crushed pineapple at this point to this cake, which I've thrown in the bottom of this thing. And it doesn't say whether you drain it, and I would assume that we want the juices to go all throughout this cake. So you add, just right out of the can, some crushed pineapple with the juice and everything right in there. Oh, doesn't that just look wonderful? And then, after that, you then take some cherry pie filling. And doesn't that look good? You know, from my notion, just forget the rest of the recipe and eat this right out of the can, you save yourself an awful lot of trouble. And put some of that in there, and that's the next layer that goes in. Now, you know this has got to be good. Mm-hmm. Anything got all this junk in it. It's all sugar, you know. Johnson, of course, you know you'll have a fit, and we'll have to take you out of here on a stretcher. Well, I'll only have a bite. Uh-huh. That's what I have he said it last week. Can I have a second now? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I've added my... Uh, box of raisins, and now I'm adding two cups of black walnuts. Now, you could use English oh, walnuts that are a lot there. cheaper, oh. but we're in black walnut country and can get them, so we're going to use them. And the reason they're very dear is that they're real hard to shell, and you can't get them out in one piece. So what are you talking about, Josh? I'm talking about black walnuts. Because Doris and I were having another conversation over I here. Know, you know, I she has you. just worn me out over here. Well, I just I'm, discovered that I'm supposed to add the entire can of each, the pineapple and the cherry thing, all at one time now. Okay. And so I just have. Well, I've got my <laughs> raisins and walnuts in there, and now I'm going to add a whole lot of different kinds of spices. Cinnamon will be the first one. And aren't you proud I didn't pre-measure anything? When do I add the next layer of this cake to this thing? I was supposed to put it all on the bottom? Well, you can layer this if you want to. Use your imagination, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be dumb like Miss Doris. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this in now because oh. I... Uh-oh, Johnson can't... just dropped something no. major into no, that no. machine. I didn't drop it in there yet. I just dropped the bottle because it's got stuff all over it from the... Uh... The unfortunate acts. I don't know why I have so many problems here with that. I'm adding like a this. teaspoon of allspice now. The way this has been put together irritates me. Well, Lord knows we don't want you to be irritated. <laughs> well, I'm using up all the cake now. <laughs> I'm just putting it right in there. I haven't had this much fun since the since the hogs ate my brother. Oh. Now, we... next thing you do is you put the pudding on top of that. Oh, that pudding, look at that stuff has set up. That goes in next. You know what? I thought this was too big a bowl, but look at this. It looks to be. These people do know what they're doing. Uh-huh. Look at that. Takes a big old dish. And then on top of that, I got some uh, 
whipped stuff. Thank you, Andre, who is right on top of everything. And that goes on, now this is the really fun part. Just put lots of it on. Now you know the staff is gonna have a party when this is over. You know they are, because none of them eaten for a week. Put that on top. How could anything with all of this be bad? <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> And in a couple of minutes, I'll add the final ingredient. And okay. I've got 10 minutes to do it in, so take your time, Johnson. All right, well, let me give my recipe. Two cups of unsweetened applesauce, one teaspoon of soda, one cup of butter, two cups of sugar, two eggs, three and three quarters cups of plain flour, one box of seedless raisins, one teaspoon each cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and clove, two cups of chopped black walnuts, and three quarters of a cup of wine or grape juice. And a partridge and a pear tree. All that goes in, and... I'm ready to go home. Well, I, I wish I was. How's it coming, John? Well, I, I've got to are, scrape it down Are we going to get it done before the show's over? Well, maybe. <sighs> Let me just keep working here. Well, let me give my just, recipe right All right, right go ahead and that. do that while I... The very lovely punch bowl cake. By, sent in by Punchy Evelyn. A box of cake mix, and you make that up in accordance with the directions on the box, which is about three eggs, and well, you know how to make a cake. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether you use uh, white cake or yellow cake. Whoa, that hurt. One can of crushed pineapple, a can of cherry pie filling, a box of instant vanilla pie filling, or pudding, and make it according to the instructions also. And one eight ounce package of whipped topping, and also you'll need to have standing by some nuts to put on top, and I do. Now, anyway, that's it. This is my grandma's. I was gonna say that looks this like an antique. Virginia Atkins Johnson's own uh, tube pan, and you need a big one, and this one probably it's won't too hold small. The, it's yeah. it might be too small, but we'll see. Yeah. But you have to butter it up real good so your cake will come out of it eventually. We do that. Now we will have the fun of. Uh, oh, that's a nice thick batter. Yes, it is. Beautiful. All right, and I need to scrape it off, and then I'll see if I can unfree the bowl. Oh, Lord, this glops of this stuff is going. Well, everywhere. while he's doing that, right. let me add the nuts All to right. this uh, recipe. I have some English walnuts, and to make it look just real beautiful, you, you just add the, the nuts right across the top. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that pretty? It's just lovely, and it makes uh, the perfect uh, makes the perfect party dish. And set that out. And I just can't believe it. It's it's just perfect. It's gorgeous. It really is in every way. Now, when you add the bottle of rum to it. Oh, Johnson, I wouldn't think of it. You wouldn't. You Why waste the rum in a good recipe <laughs> like that? No, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't think it. All right, Bly, would you come over here and hold the bowl up for me? Hold the bowl. Hold the bowl while I rake it over into the pan. That's, I'm just so weak Very these stiff. days. I can't. You want me to take it out? No, I can do it. I just pull it on. Is right, it let me, Hang on. Let me turn right. the thing. And we'll. This, this is, batter is real stiff. A two-person. Well, I turned it so you'd get it in a different section. Well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my heavens. If you're weak, you don't want to do this recipe. Let me get the All rest. Right. I can get it myself. Yeah, this is not a recipe for, it's easy to do. It really is, but it's not for the faint of heart or you can't do it with a hand mixer either. Oh, I'm telling you. gotta have. That is, but you know, all of these recipes for uh, applesauce cake are real thick, heavy batters. They really are but they are wonderful to the mouth. What? No, I did. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the reason that it's so thick is because All it. right, Laban let's, forgot to put the out. Well, let's put it yeah, back, let's in, put there it back in there. Let's put it back in there and see. Maybe Dora should come out and talk about her uh -huh. recipe. Now, let me scrape this. Just go front and center, Doris. I'll be with you with my no chest wonder. in a moment. Here, no. This is why it's so terribly thick, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Listen right. to her. She can hardly, she can just hardly contain herself. 
All right, you go remix that, Johnson, and get it right this time. I'll now, do my best. What do you have, Doris? <laughs> well, I have the, the fastest cake in the, in the West. And it's a West good thing. <laughs> And no, Laban just had the fastest cake because he <laughs> left out the main ingredient. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why I had such a stiff bat. I knew it didn't work that way yesterday. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, my cake has two eggs well beaten, <laughs> three-fourths cups of vegetable oil, one and a half cups of sugar, two cups all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoons baking soda, one teaspoon cinnamon, one can uh, fruit pie filling, anyone that you'd like to use, and a half a cup of nuts, optional. And you just mix all the ingredients until well blended and pour into a greased, floured pan, which I didn't do yesterday. <laughs> oh, we've all had our share of problems. Right. So the cake sort of stuck, and I knew Larry would, would be unmerciful towards me today, so I baked another one all right. so it would look right. But it turned out really nice, and, and, and it's quite a moist cake. And now you're going to try to get it back in the thing again. We're not trying, we are. See now how nice it pours when uh -huh. you have the apple sauce? Oh, it's going to burp over. Well, thank goodness somebody noticed that. <laughs> that cake has been around the barn. All right, well, if we can move over to our <laughs> other set, I'll show where, where, where is that? The, the, Cake I can eat, Doris. It was, oh, they're, they're both. Oh, over. he has lost the cake he prepared, ladies and gentlemen. What <laughs> next is going to happen on this program today? Now, you bake that for how long, Doris? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was about an hour. About I'm an hour like, at what yeah, temperature? At 350. Uh, no, th this is where we had a little bit of a yeah. problem because it's. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Quick. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's at a Get slow. Get yourself, Doris. <laughs> it's at a slow. She's gone hysterical on <laughs> So us. I think we decided it was two, about 325, and it took about an hour. Okay. All right. Now, here are the cakes over here. <laughs> this one right here is the one I just made, and this one right here is the one using <sighs> artificial sweetener and uh, egg beaters. It's not quite as high, but I'm sure it's going to taste really Fine, especially when you're not supposed to eat cake at all. So, uh, well, here, let me let me get you a little, you a a little heart slice cake. of this. All right. Oh Lord, all I got you was the the none goop. of the innards. None of the innards. You got to go real deep to get the good parts. There we go. But parts is parts, and isn't this just so light and fluffy? It it's is just fluffy. You know how all I right, love now, fluffy. Here you go. And There's here, give me this so I can get me another piece of this over here. All right, I'll use this knife over here so I can. Well, how many cakes do we have? I only we got three. One. Three, four. We got four different cakes. What's this one? That one is the one Doris made. It's wonderful. Mm. This is the one that is no I trouble. I love it. Mm-hmm. Not Real nice. good. Now. These things look a little dry to me, but they're not. They're very, very. This is the one that's safe to eat. Mm -mm -mm. No, which if one you're are you in bad me? shape? Which one? Both, both. Oh, okay. Now, which one is this? That's one? the full high test one. I'm going to see if there's any difference. I can't tell any difference. No. None at all. So you can do this cake. The easy way, just using egg substitute, margarine, and and uh, a measurable sweetener. Now, have you tried my goopy one yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's real good. It'd be better with a little dark rum. <laughs> so would this show. <laughs> <laughs> and as a matter of fact, we think that maybe Doris, before mm -hmm. she came on, but because you know she had wine. That was wine. That's why it splattered down the bowl, because it was wine. And the devil was trying to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Doris that, will that get was us. Why I thought it was She'll get be, us real bad because she doesn't ever drink. I know. Ever, ever, That's why ever. I was so surprised. I thought it was going to be grape juice or mm -hmm. that diet right grape soda or something, you know. But it turned out it, it, it smelled to me like the fruit of the vine that had been uh, fermented. Well, this is a mighty good uh, dessert meal. Boy, if I must can, say so. You can have great times at a holiday with this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
All these cakes and everything. And the Just applesauce wondering. cakes are really good. Mm -hmm. and very mm -hmm. close to what my mo mama used to make. And that lady has brought back my faith. And remember, they're much better when you put the applesauce on them. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Larry's would be even better with about a half a cup of rum. <laughs> <laughs> or amaretto yeah. would be nice mm -hmm. also. Well, that's it for us. See you around the campus.